Hi guys, this is Kalara Hudson of While They Play Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a yarn review of the brand new yarn from Hobie called Pearly Haze. And in this little unboxing here, you can see I ordered a sweater quantity. And Pearly Haze is actually a blend of viscose and an extra fine merino wool. Now I didn't know what viscose was, so I had to look it up, and apparently it is similar to rayon, but is actually shinier than rayon and it's also supposed to keep you warm in the winter and cool in the summer now here i'm just showing you how squishable and fluffy this yarn is now this is actually something new from hobie that they've added recently are these little qr codes and all you have to do is pull out your phone take a picture of that qr code and a link will pop up to show you all of hobie's yarns and they do also have a qr code here at the end of the ball band that shows you the page for the yarn and it also has patterns that they suggest for you to use this yarn with. So I thought that was really cool. Now as I break into this first ball of this pearly haze I did want to mention what type of material I used to knit my swatch in this yarn. I went ahead and used a warm bamboo needle and I won't say what brand it was but I just wanted to make you guys aware that when using this particular fiber with bamboo needles I seem to have a lot of stickiness and grabbiness and I'm not sure if that's just because this is a warm material that's in the bamboo needle and it's a warm fiber since you're holding it in your hands it seems to have a warm feel to it the yarn so I think maybe that's why I was having so much trouble with this sticking and grabbing. So at this point, I went ahead and I switched out. Instead of using those bamboo needles, I'm actually going to start using a different wood. This is, I'm not going to say the name again, uh, since I'm not getting paid by them, but I just went with a red wood, which is another hardwood needle. And it just has a very high sheen, high gloss finish. And that, as you can see here, I kind of sped it up a little, but I didn't have as much trouble with the fiber grabbing or the needles grabbing the fiber. They just glided through the stitches. Now I will say at one point here, I did have a little bit of trouble since this yarn is a chained tube. If you have needles that you're using that are very, very pointy or sharp, you might uh, run into an issue with that sharp needle actually, and it's coming up here, I'll show you right here, actually piercing through the tube, and then you end up knitting a weird stitch on your needle. So that is something you might come across if you are using needles that have way too sharp of a point on them but I went ahead and just stopped here to show you guys what I'm talking about so just keep that in mind when you are knitting with this yarn you might want to switch out to a duller uh, more rounded tip on your needles that you're working with but here I finished my swatch and I just wanted to slow it down and show you guys the stitch definition on this yarn it is phenomenal I could not believe how great this looked pre-blocking but i'm going to go ahead and just hit it with a little bit of steam and i would not iron directly onto this fabric you don't want to melt that viscose so i'm just giving it a light steam letting those stitches lay how they want to lay and again it already is looking great but i'm going to pin it out just so i can get a more accurate measurement of my gauge and I'll let that completely air dry. Now I'm on to my crochet swatch. I wanted to show you guys how this turns out when you crochet with it. So right here I'm showing my crochet hooks. I have a metal and a bamboo. Again, we're gonna fall into the same issue with the bamboo. As you can see here, I kind of slowed it down. The shaft of this bamboo hook is very pointy, very jagged. And I found that it actually was catching on that knitted tube. So instead I went ahead and switched out to a metal hook. And as you can see, it just glided through the stitches in this yarn. 
So I went ahead and crocheted up my little gauge swatch using the recommended crochet hook that's on the ball band. And I believe that was a J hook or a size 10, six millimeter. So as I speed through here and finish off my gauge swatch, I'm gonna snip that, pull it through. And again, you guys, look at that stitch definition. It's incredible. I haven't even blocked this swatch yet and it already looks fantastic. And again, I think that is in part because I used that metal hook instead of a bamboo hook. Now I'm just going to hit it with some steam just as I did with the knitted swatch. Again, not touching that fabric because you don't want to melt the viscose or the wool. And I'm just going to pin it out to make sure I have an accurate measurement of the gauge. And again, look at those stitches. They look incredible. So there you have it. These are the two swatches after they have been blocked and cooled off. Look how flexible and drapey the fabric is, even in the crochet piece. It's just simply beautiful. I really enjoyed working with this yarn and I think you guys should definitely check it out. I will probably be making a sweater out of this yarn. But there you have it. That is the Pearly Haze from Hobie. It is part viscose and extra fine merino wool. There's the crochet swatch. And then coming up here is the knit swatch. I really, really enjoyed working with this brand new yarn to me. This is actually the second time that I have used Hobie's yarn, and I'm really in love with this fiber. I think it's gonna be incredible for spring and summer. Thanks so much for watching.